Today we've got a new hoppy beer from Firestone Walker. Hey guys, Sean here from the Everyday Aficionados, and today we're taking a look at Firestone Walker Luponic Distortion Number no. One. This is the first beer in a new series from them where every 90 days they're going to be coming out with a new hoppy beer, different hops every time, and as far as I know, they're not going to be telling you which hops are in each version, or at least they don't tell you which hops are in this one. It's 5.9% ABV, so it's verging on that like pale ale IPA territory and it's 59 IBUs. They also say that it has wheat malt in it, and they have some really interesting descriptors online. I've seen everything from candied mango to like zesty tropical fruit to green tea. Just really interesting descriptors. I can't wait to try it out. Yeah, so definitely getting that tropical fruit character coming through. Lots of mango, pineapple, some papaya. A nice zesty grapefruit character. Maybe a little bit of a candied orange peel. Behind that though, you are getting a slight resinous note. A little bit of pine. A nice herbal character as well. That's definitely coming off as green tea, just like they mentioned. A little bit of crackery malt in there too. Smells really nice. Cheers. Wow, yeah. Getting a ton of that tropical fruit character coming through. Mango, pineapple, papaya. Nice peach note to this one as well. Some zesty grapefruit character that picks up in the middle of the mouth. Again, a slight candied character. A little bit of uh, orange in there as well, like a candied orange peel. Towards the back end, definitely getting a light resinous character. More of that herbal green tea like character as well that they mentioned at 5.9 percent abv it definitely drinks a little bit more towards session ipa territory or hoppy pale ale territory but i would say it has a little bit more sweetness than your typical session ipa you get a little bit of a sweetness coming through from the bready crackery malt backbone but for the most part very dry the finish on this one very dry and you get the linger of pithy citrus and some of that herbal character So for my final thoughts on Firestone Walker Luponic Distortion number one. This one is going to get a really solid A for me. Really love the hop character in this beer. It's incredibly sessionable. This would be an amazing summer release from Firestone Walker. It's a shame that it's a one-time beer. Hopefully they bring it back at some point, but it has me really excited for the other beers that are going to come out in this series because if they're as good as this one then it's a series that you have to try every single release for if you can't get this one look out for the next one but if you can get this one definitely pick up a six pack i would say i'm really upset that i only picked up one can so i would definitely recommend this one did you guys try this beer are you excited for the rest of the series let me know your thoughts in the comments below until next time drink responsibly and passionately thanks for watching Let's be honest, Keith, you're probably the only one that watches this far into my videos.